Vanetta. How are you all doing today? Back uh, today again for another interesting episode, as always. Today we'll be talking about connecting to source energy and how you can connect to source energy every day in your life. So we will start off talking about source energy and, and what that is. So source energy is simply the, the collective consciousness, uh, the ethos, God, as somebody would, uh, people would say. It's simply uh, the existence in which all exists from. Uh, I believe that's where we come from. We are just beings, energy, spirit beings of energy. That's it. Um, individually experiencing source. So source is the collective. So let's say a long time ago there was source energy. And then source energy decided to just uh, divide itself individually. And it sort of just wanted to have these individualized experiences in all dimensions and all universe is uh, parallel dimensions, all those things, um, because there exists infinite number of realities and universes and, and all of that. So at each level, source is experiencing itself. And I believe we come from this place of source energy. And then we incarnate into whatever dimension or world or universe that we're supposed to go to. Uh, well, that source wants to individually experience itself individually. A lot of people will think it's, it doesn't make sense, it's a contradiction, but that's person what I believe. I mean, some people would say God, you know, it, it, source energy is God, but I think a lot of times, which is the problem with humans, is that they like to quantify everything and, and make it into the set notion. And so God is not this masculine being who sits on top of the earth and judges us and acts like a human, essentially. Uh, God is simply just the collective consciousness that we all come from. It's, it's, it's the force that exists within everything. So when I say source energy, I'm just saying is being aware of that life force energy that is going on within yourself at all, at any given moment. Source energy is infinite. It's amazing. It can be experienced whenever you want. To, for it to be experienced, uh, you know, it's, it's very even possible to become very disconnected from the force, the source. Um, a lot of times in our society we get very, I always say caught up, but that's the perfect way of phrasing it, in our lives, in our jobs, in our relationships, within ourselves, in our possessions, in whatever group we ascribe to or we consider ourselves to be part of. And so a lot of times that we do forget that we do come from this being in a state of perfection, which is source energy. I always say in our episodes that there is the ego and there is the source. I believe that there are two uh, principles or just two aspects within ourselves. The source is the collective ethos in which you're existing because of that, your soul essentially. And then the ego is, well, I mean, it, it's all part of your soul, but the source is just the one part. And then the second part is sort of your ego. So it's yourself individually. It, it's almost how you individually experience, have this experience uh, because you have to identify with yourself. That's the ego. Uh, that's just the individual. If we were all collective, you know, and, and so connected, you know, we wouldn't understand what it was like to be by ourselves, essentially. So, uh, it's, it's a balance of both of those energies. You can't be so completely out there, you know, you forget that you are living an earthly experience. And you can't be so completely earthly where you forget you're living a spiritual experience. So, it's balancing that collective and that ego. And, and connecting to Source, it, I, I believe, is... It's so easy because all you have to do is just close your eyes and just go deep within. And I feel meditation is important for this because I feel like when you do that, suddenly you just start to re release of that ego, and, and you start to balance that energy, and you just feel that everything is what it is, and everything emulates from the source, and it's it's an amazing experience. Uh, I, I guess the first time I ever had my experience with with really feeling source energy was uh, it was one night it was in Pittsburgh with a few friends. And I'd say by the end of the night, we'd stayed up all night, you know, doing what we did. And it was 7 o'clock in the morning. And I don't know. I just felt like my heart chakra just opened. And I felt so connected to everything. And I literally loved everything. Uh, nothing was good. Nothing was bad. Everything was just beauty within itself. It was just literally source experiencing itself individually. So everything was just an experience. And I saw nothing wrong with it at all. Uh, I, in fact, I was completely encumbered by the experience. Um, it was just really amazing to me, just just to be overwhelmed, you know, with that 
source energy. So that was about, let's say, two years ago. And so, you know, within my spiritual practices, I've been trying to reconnect with source daily. And so that was the first experience. And so having that experience, I know what to look for. So a lot of times within my meditations, you know, when I get to that state of just pure love energy, that's when I know I'm connecting to source energy. Or even, you know, just little messages that we get in our lives every day. Um, that's connecting to source energy as well. <laughs> so getting these messages in your life, uh, that, that is another way of connecting to source energy. Um, besides meditation and, and just simply practices that you can go deep within yourself. People say going deep within yourself. What does that mean? That just simply means let going of the constrictions uh, and the constraints of the body and of your ego and just simply experiencing the moment and just observing yourself, okay? And, and you let go and you just observe the moment and then suddenly you start to understand these new states of awareness when you just stop and let go and experience the moment and, and eventually you will get to a place in which you feel connected to source which is essentially just feeling connected to everything that exists really I mean that was the feeling that I had was feeling con completely connected to, to everything that was existing and, and having no judgment towards it Everything was literally beautiful in my experience. I mean, I, I saw, you know, in my mind people getting killed, people doing whatever, you know, but I didn't have a judgment towards it. It was all simply beautiful. And I know it's a lot for people to wrap their, their minds around, but I think that's getting to the state of connectedness, of truly just existing and not over-identifying with anything. So a lot of times if you over-identify with anything too much in the earthly experience or the earthly presence, you will not be able to connect with source energy because... It's, it's a balance, okay? So, um, so back to getting messages from spirit. So that's another way of connecting to source energy. Uh, because once you connect to source energy and once you really let go, like I said, and, and trust, that part of letting go is also trusting that the universe is going to protect you or that the collective, will, or that you're guided, really. So part of that being guided is also being awake and being open because that's part of expanding your consciousness is your awareness is increased. So you start to see these messages. You, you might even have an increase in, you know, your what they call psychic ability. I mean, that's. I, I mean, I do believe in psychic abilities, and and I've noticed that since since I started walking uh, with source energy, that my psychic abilities have raised uh, a lot. And I, I mean, I'm hearing these messages literally from spirit. It's just I'm hearing them, and. I'm seeing what's around me, too, as, as well as hearing these messages. And so I'm open uh, to receiving what the universe is giving me, uh, telling me as well. And so I think once you let go of that control and, and just accept and, and experience and be aware, you will connect the source energy. It's inevitable. Breaking down all these layers, all these all this baggage that we've carried with ourselves that needs to be really let release. If you're not flowing with the flow of life, if you're not releasing those emotions or unnecessary relationships or unnecessary situations, you're stopping the flow of the universe. You will not connect with source energy until you let it flow and until you trust. I think that that is probably, you know, the, 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 the most simple way of, of connecting with source energy. And so, you know, people say, okay, Runique, well, you know, how do you really do that if you're already connected? Well, you already are connected. That's why you're existing, because that is the life force that in which it all emulates. So you have to have this force going on within you to exist, but you don't have to be conscious of it. And I think most people running around here on planet Earth are not very conscious of that energy. And so increasing your awareness is being more conscientious uh, or conscious, excuse, whatever, of that energy and that is source energy it, it's so simple and I mean this is a new experience in my life I've, I've been dealing with source exclusively you know for about two years but I'd say really really within the past like four months three, three, three to four months my my walk with spirit has just in, increased a spirit is like you know it's short for source energy in my mind I, it's very synonymous so um, just the messages I mean it was like literally like I was driving one day and something just tells me, get in the next lane, you know? I'm like, whatever. You know, I get in the next lane, and literally right as I was doing that, this car was coming up and basically would have sideswiped me. And, you know, if I hadn't listened to that voice that I heard and gotten over the next lane, I, I would have gotten into an accident. That happened to me two years ago. Same experience. Something said, get over. Well, literally, right after I got over, the accident happened, you know? And I was on my way to work in that time. And in fact, that was April of 2007.